I'm not saying I'm Batman. <laughs> but have you ever seen Batman and me in the same room together? <laughs> What's going on guys, Larry Wheels here. Today I wanna to go over just how important it is to keep a close eye on your health. Now, for me, my health is my wealth. When I'm healthy, I'm breaking records, I'm feeling good, I'm on a steady incline of progress. When I'm not, things slow down and even come to a stop. So, just wanna put a great emphasis on you guys to get your own health checked out because I want you guys to perform your best, okay? With Let's Get Checked, they send a testing kit to your home where you can get your health checked out by yourself. No need to step out the door or go into the neighborhood. Everything can be checked at home. Now, if you're wondering like, what are some of the things that can be checked, I'll tell you. For example, it's testosterone, prolactin, SHBG, FAI, many others. For more information about that, just go to letsgetchecked.com. Everything is there. I shouldn't have to say you guys on your health, but I'm here today just as a reminder. All right, guys, here's my Let's Get Check collection kit. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm sealing it up. I'm gonna invert it a few times. All right, guys, now this gets shipped off to Let's Get Checked, which I can get all of my results online in just a few weeks. Now, for more information, check out my description below for a direct link to Let's Get Checked and use the code WHEELS20 for 20% off. Let's Get Checked also offers loads of other tests such as iron, thyroid, and sexual health tests which can be found on the website. Check the link below in the description for more information. And on that note, guys, let's get to this workout. I actually just hit a PR on the pause bench yeah. a couple days ago. Um, as far as everything else, everything else is feeling the same, honestly. Oh, okay. Everything is feeling the same right now. Uh, Delton feels good. Pressing feels good. Pulling feels good. There's no aches or pains or anything, but it feels about Almost better than before. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, when I did the 50 kg hammer curls, that was actually my best. Wow, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so it's better than, much better and, than And hammer curls is predominantly the long head bicep as well. Right, exactly. So you, you're activating the shoulder a bit more. What I find when I did mine is, uh, especially on the bench and the head stuff, where the, basically the tendon's still attached, and the tendon's like flapping over. It's causing a lot of like clicking and clacking. So when I'm benching, shoulder pressing, I just feel it like cracking and creaking. And just over time, it just feels like it's getting more and more inflamed. Have you taken enough time after the injury to rehab and everything, or do you feel you got back a little too early? Uh, I definitely went back too early. I mean, I detached my bicep on the Saturday in Florida, flew back to the UK, and I was benching. 260 for reps on the Tuesday. Literally, so. About four or five days later? Yeah, literally. 260 for reps. And what I find is, is that, well, with injuries for me, it's like it's done, it's gone, it's ripped off the bone. What, what else can you do? It's gone, you know. Start strengthening the muscles around it. And that's how I've always worked with injuries. If you get something injured, train around it, just train the other muscles around it. So. I mean, luckily benching is not too bad, but like shoulder pressing and stuff like that just really hinders me. But you just crack on. Yeah. There's no point dwelling on it. There's no point crying about it. Yeah. It's happened, doesn't it? Just get on with it. Absolutely. Fair enough. I actually haven't really done any press, shoulder pressing since. You haven't? Really. I haven't really. So yeah. Not take it steady-ish, do you? <laughs> exactly. Steady-ish. Ish. Ish. That, that's a big word, ish. <laughs> right, well, let's, uh, let's start warming them up then, eh? Thank you. 
idea behind the sort of bringing it in towards here is to sort of try and activate that the, the short end of the bicep. Obviously the long end's missing, so you want you want that to be nice and warm before you start pressing. Yeah, yeah just, just sort of activate your biceps a little bit. Where did you find this guy, Larry? Did you, <laughs> well, did you I'm like from find Nigeria. him right <laughs> out in the desert and crack it open and he came up? <laughs> You're actually from Wakanda, being you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cartoon. This is <laughs> Ridiculous. That's quite a unique body shape, that is. That's yeah. Yeah. fucking it's good, yeah. man. Really good. You know, we both think you know, he can bust out the middle splits on top of it. You can what? Middle splits. Middle? Middle meaning box splits. All the way till his balls hit the ground. Jeez, really? And put his foot over his head. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's the same thing. That's incredible. He barely bend over. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, I'm I wish impressed. my wife could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy-two. All right. Oh, slim at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> slim. <laughs> oh no, what's that? Pounds like three hundred and eighty-five pounds, something like that. Three hundred eighty-five right now. Wow. Three eighty-five. Three eighty-five. Wow. <laughs> I'm a watery. Two eighty-five right now. Wow. Sheesh. Ha 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 ha. Still the same. This is 
Yeah. Slippy. No choice to that. Grand having your teeth done. <laughs> this, this is, it's an investment in itself. Fair enough. Uh, What's the best you I think I've seen you uh, trying to recall correctly? You've done the 60s for some about 40 plus reps, maybe more? Yeah, I mean, in my prime, I could do them for 50 reps. 50 reps? Yeah. Wow. That's now, crazy. Not, not so much now. <laughs> That's crazy. Not so much now, but um, even honestly, even anything near over thirty would be impressive. Very impressive. That's probably that's probably what I was thinking today about forty. Just to warm up. Which yeah, actually, just, just to put us into the big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy moly. That's it. Come on. Yeah, I'm not heavy enough, I guess. Yeah, uh, right? If I need me and you. Four. Oh. Right. Oh, wow. Break him out, sir. Right. Break him out, sir. Come on. Yes. Warm up. Yeah. All the warm up. Come on, sir. Hi. Come on, Eddie. Yeah. Oh, 10 more. Ah, yep. 30 reps over there. That was 30. Yeah, wow, that was right there. Damn, that was crazy. Sheesh. Woo. Holy. Yeah, 40 here, no problem. <laughs> huh? A second. I would try to swing them up, but I'm out of 385. It ain't going nowhere if I try to swing it up. <laughs> One more inch, go. Yeah, I see a PR coming. Get it. Oh, come on. Yep, get ready. Come on. Get it. Yep. Give it to him, Larry. Give it to him. Yep. Come on. Give it to him, Larry. Yep. Oh. 
Fed him with it. Well, yeah. Uh, Tone for today. Nice. Oof. Oh yeah. Good. Oh, Set the tone. Oh, shit. That's good. Good. good, sir. So good. That's a warm up, man. That's a top set. Yeah. That's a top set. It's a warm up. <laughs> you know what? Let me see. I do okay. Well, over you over? You think? Yeah. Okay. And if you're gonna take him here, take him from up there. Oh, okay. So we'll be like that. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it right here. I think I should be going from right here. Safer. Up here? Then, yeah. Okay. So you can bring him down in your okay. style. Okay. You get, you get trapped. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, Shreve, you give me tape? Hi, Shreve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Get me. Uh, All right. All right. Oh. Come on, big dog. Let's see it. Ooh. All right. Yep. Yep. All yours? Yep. Oh, got it. Oh. 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 Get it. Yep. Oh. Oh. One. Yes. Finish. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Press. Do you want to do them on a smith, nice and strict, so it protects, protects the bicep quite well. Or we can do a free stance, but I'm warning you, it's like, you want to try and keep everything in an A to B line. Absolutely. Because stabilizing muscle. Is there a smith machine here? Yeah, the Aguirre tells us plain, but there is a smith actually, one right there. And there's one right there. The thing is, like, especially if you haven't done shoulders since your injury, you'll find your stabilizing muscles are completely fucked. And what I've found is I've torn my lat twice doing shoulders. And it's because it's trying to keep this shoulder like stabilized. There's no like the bit that the long end's the stabilizing muscle. Right. So um, I'm still try, trying to sort of build it up before I go more free stance on the barbells and stuff. Do a vacuum press, let's do it. Actually, after doing that, I'm down to do the cement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but hearing that. Well, it's quite fixed. It's, it's sort of A to B. There's no, there's no sort of that movement because it's fixed. Yeah. Totally up to you. Okay.
so strongman's so bicep prominent. Everything's just like carrying the Atlas stones. So that's how you did it, isn't it? Exactly. Lifting the Atlas stone. Exactly. Uh, even the overhead stuff, like the log press, I've I've seen people detach the long heads doing uh, curling a log uh -huh. twice. Yeah, I can so believe it's, that. It's like you've just got a. <laughs> Uh, it's so bicep prominent, even axle cleans. Uh, I, I, I seem to think since, since I've done that, like the strongman stuff, I, I just don't want to touch it. Like, any, like, I, I get into an Atlas stone, and I just like, because I'm not sort of motivated to get good at it, it's like, why, why risk it? Because if you do that short, Ed, you're like that for fucking nine months oh, man. in a cast. So. Nine. Well, at least if you think about it, if you haven't got a stabilizing bicep to sort of help it, and you do both of them, you're, you're, you've got a, you're fucked. You've got a long fucking recovery. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I'm taking my time before I get back. Well, fucking spot on, mate. Real and I want to I want to get back to about one sixty at least. Until what? I want to get to one sixty kilo. What yeah. body weight? I'm one thirty six right now, but I'm almost shredded, so I, I got a lot more room for my frame. One thirty five is nothing, strong, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm 172, and I wouldn't say I'm shredded, but <laughs> I'm a lot, I'm a lot slimmer than what I was for sure. You're a pure orange right now. Jumped out of skin just now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Damage my shoulder a little bit more. My mobility definitely affected the shoulder press after the injury. Pre injury, I would touch my chest no problem. Steady military dumbbell press. Right now, if I go below the chin and lower than here, I feel it gets inflamed and it starts uh, slapping and flapping. Yeah. <laughs> slapping and flapping. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> not, not just the bicep. <laughs> Oh, 
I gotta come back now, man. I gotta make a comeback. Nah. I'll stay on my lane. I'm going tens. Tens, bro. Ten, bro. Alright. I'll stay on my lane. Let's see. Come on, Andrew. Yes. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. We've been, we've been uh, running around the gym looking for 20s and they've been from there all the time. <laughs> I don't know if you ever even kill yourself on Cedar Smith Machine, but what about free weight? Um, you know what? I've never actually done sort of normal barbell oh. overhead. It's always, been, it. it's always been Axel. Ah, oh, that's right, yeah. That only makes, that makes so, sense, yeah. I mean, the, the best I've ever done in training is 220 from the floor. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen that. We had a broken ankle, yeah? yeah I mean, foot? Yeah. No, 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 that was the log press. <laughs> um, so yeah, 220 to the, to the stomach, to the chest, switch, and then overhead. But I think it's weird because if I were to pull 220 out the rack and try and press it, I can't press it. But it's like it's that it's that setup of getting it on like from the stomach to my chest, rolling it up my chest, and then I just sort of lean back and just bench press it. And that was just like it just got me in that perfect sort of position. That's hard to believe it's easier that way. It's easier that for me, that's easier that way. Huh. A bit weird. Yeah, that's definitely weird. That's strange. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I've done barbell wise. Ever. So this is the first time you've probably been doing this then? The four plates on the Smith then? I've done I've no, I've done Smith machine stuff before, but um, it's it's never been ridiculous. It's usually just like rep reps, you know? But uh yeah. fuck it, when in Rome. <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> Tough eight reps, so that, that's like my last set. That's perfect. That was ideal. That was an ideal set. Yeah. Yeah. With slapping and flapping. That's an eight. <laughs> and the bicep flapping and flapping. <laughs> Eddie just smashed four plates for eight reps. Full range of motion. Balls deep. I'm only putting the tip in. And I'm, no matter how many I do, I'm going to come short because I'm only going to like right here. So. You guys are gonna eat me alive anyway. If I can do 10, oh, he didn't go deep enough, so so give him my all. <laughs> are you behind me? Well, uh, we'll go, go we'll Larry. Put the fake, fake plates on for Larry. Yeah. <laughs> PR campaign 2020, let's get it. Oh, oh. Time for the trailer. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Oh, Larry. Ooh. Oh. Hit him with it, Larry. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Good. Oh, nice. Good. Come on. Oh, Larry. Come on. No. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice. All right. Not bad. Good set. Yes, That's sir.
Come on, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Oh, nice, yeah. Nice. We've uh, done the dumbbells, worked up to 60 kilos. We've done the Smith machine, worked up to 180. Um, all pretty even, Steven, so far. So we've moved on to the Viking press, and we're going to put our own body weight on. So I think for Larry, that's 137, did he say? Something like that. Uh, and I'm 170. So we'll get our own body weight on the bar, and then how many reps can you get out? That's a uh, nice, even pound for pound movement. Feeling, feeling confident, Larry? No, I actually am in quite a bit of pain, but oh, I'll be alright. This arm? Yeah. What, elbow or? Uh, bicep inflammation. Bicep inflammation? Yeah, low bar squats. Do you, you, right, this is a theory, right? If you do one bicep, it's a theory, they, 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 they reckon that the other bicep will go. Huh. That's like all the strong men say that. It's like, so, well basically when you're doing all these movements, and like even on the Smith machine, this bicep will be doing all the sort of stabilizing movements and the dumbbells, everything else. So this one's sort of kind of like doing twice the work now. Now this one is gone because it's keeping, it's keeping your whole body in line. So, I can understand that. Yeah, and then all the other, I say when you're squatting, you're pulling the bar against your back. This one's doing all the work and this, you won't notice it, but this one will be limp. And it's just like little things, it's in the back of your head. You just, you won't be able to help it. It's just stuff that happens. So uh, yeah, you really got to look after that bicep now because it's, a lot more susceptible now the other one's gone. Yeah. Um, is it the long head again? Do you think? Where's it, where's it feel? More in so this area actually. There? Yeah. So that is, would you say the paint here? A little uh, around that area, yeah. And is it going to the back or is it going up? Uh, it's more so from my here to Oh, okay. It's not going up, it stops right there. Is it going from the middle to the front of your bicep? Not to the front. To the down? Yeah. What can you think what that would be? You've got, a, you've got a lot of sort of stabilizing muscles that come attached from your lats and actually come round and attach sort of middle of your arm. And come back, so. It could, could be your deltoid actually. That's true. Right, yeah. and, and just pulling everything down here because that's sort of trying to sort of pull everything back into place. So, could be a shoulder problem or a neck problem even just all pulling up i think it's a neck problem my neck is grown insane my pt has been saying my neck's grown like a ridiculous amount in the last couple of weeks yeah yeah and uh it's actually it's actually he's got some tenderness over here right 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 in here like a lump a lumpy yeah 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 so it could be really just like strain and stuff yeah you'll have the um he'll have the no neck syndrome soon when he gets to 160, he'll just, his neck will just disappear <laughs> and he'll walk around like that. What's that? Yeah, of course. Try to do this. Yeah, 
<laughs> Not saying I'm Batman, <laughs> but have you ever seen Batman and me in the same room together? I wonder what you would get if you were hydrated. <laughs> I am actually um, quite dehydrated right now, I'll be honest. It's a big problem for me. I think I'll find when you get into the, the bigger weight ranges, keeping hydration is hard, like really tough. Uh, and with all the traveling that I do, I am like getting back off flights. It could take you four or five days to recover from a flight to get hydrated and get your electrolyte levels back up. So yeah, very, very, very dehydrated right now. <laughs> This really is not easy, to be honest. This is a hard press. This is a hard press, to be honest. All the weights, usually a vacuum press. All the weights in the middle. So like the levers, the pivots like right on the back. This is actually quite close to you. So in essence, whatever's on there, you're probably pressing about 80% of that weight, whereas usually you're probably doing 50% in all honesty. Oh, that makes so, sense. You know, halfway down the pivot. I mean, that's a good point, actually, yeah. So what's that? That's 120 for you, so you've only got to put another... Oh, it's 120 already? Right. Yeah, so you've only got to put another 10 kilo aside on to sort of hit body weight. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> boom! <laughs> right, so <laughs> we're all getting loaded up to the Viking press for body weight. So we're gonna see what we weigh. Um, I was 172 kilos before I flew out to Dubai, but I am very dehydrated. So uh, I'll probably be a few kilos lighter. In fact, I know I will. Sheesh, must be nice. So it's 150, 160. Is that 167? 65, 66, 66. Let's call it 168. Yeah, 168, if the needle is still. Um, so I'll press. Let's just round it up and I'll do 170. Okay. Yeah. And as of me, first thing in the morning, and I must have lost about two kilos already during this workout, so <laughs> probably a little bit lighter than one. 135, basically. Yeah, right so, in the middle. So we'll, we'll, we'll round that up to um, 140. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can round it down. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, that's fair. Let's get these two on. Yeah, we'll right. Have you got two and a half kilo well, points? My sneak is, is two we'll kgs we'll by it. itself. <laughs> well, I think I got you. You ready? Hold on. His shoes are two kilos. What is it? His shoes are two kilos. What's he saying? 135, damn, you want five kilos, you've been here. Eating with you eight times a day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 6,000 pounds a day. Six. I'm sorry, 8,000. You know, see, the, 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 the biggest looking guy here <laughs> actually weighs the less. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that looks like he's made from fucking kryptonite. <laughs> That's how the lightest guy here. 121. Yeah. Or 120. So 120. Yeah. You okay, like, you look at least 140, by the way. It does. <laughs> it's cool. So it'll be rock, paper, scissors, go. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, go. go. You go first, Larry. <laughs> okay, so given you've got a bit of a mobility issue, let's go down to ear level. Okay, so it's about there. And then full lockout. Any, by any means necessary, A to B as many reps as you can. That we say down. Um, well, I'll just, do, just, just do a good lockout. In fact, in fact, yeah, let's do, um, let's count each other in. So like one rep, two rep, three rep, yeah? 
and then he's down, then, yeah? Yeah. So if I say the number, I think it's a good rap. We're both flying out of We're both flying out. Who would have thought? We're both the same weight. I can't believe that. Yeah. We are the same, we are the same weight right same now. Same body weight. Same exact. You guys uh, look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some chocolate. I'll go. Campaign 22. All right. Comment below how many of you I'll crank out. Oh, Larry. Crank them, Larry. All right. Come on, man. Go, Larry. Three, Larry. Okay. No putting it down. Come on. One. Two. 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 Yes. Three. Four. All right. Five. Oh, yeah. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Ten. Nice. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Nice. Fourteen. Oh, Good going, man. Uh, That's right. strong right there, man. All right. Come on, do a seven, three. Was it, was it 14? Okay. That, that's fucking good, by the way. That's good. Do you remember what I did in competition? Do you remember, Adam, what it was? Uh, it wasn't 14. It was less than that, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It was more. It was more. It was more. I don't it know if it was uh, more weight or less. I can't remember either. What was the weight in competition? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, we're not sure. Uh, maybe like, well, 100. Yeah. It was 100. Maybe. Yeah, yeah probably. What you just did there was that's just one. 135, let's say minus 20%. So we're looking about 110 ish, 15, 110 in the hands. Always try and like calculate it in the hands. And that's just a complete estimate. So, oh yeah, it's the thing. It's, uh, well, that's how, I, that's how I always like to train. I, like even strongman events when I was training for Worlds. I would do shoulder press, I would do a heavy barbell press, and then I would do my biking press or my log press or my axle, just to fatigue yourself, because you would never go into a competition fresh. So always try and wreck yourself before you do event training. Feel that tendon just flipping over. Slapping and flapping Slap. the whole set. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Not nice. Nice. Yeah, 
It's always good to have a number to go for, <coughs> even as ridiculous as that is. I'm the lighter one, so. But you've actually, you've actually got a good chance of beating all of us. Because the strength to weight ratio is quite, quite good, actually. Right. Get him, B. Let's get it. Get him, B. Let's get it. Up. Come on. Come on, B. Come on, B. Get him, B. Come on, B. Get him, B. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, I gotta go lighter. I gotta go lighter. Right. One, two, Aye. three, nice. four, full lockout, five, Run. six, come on, come on, six, it's a lot harder, it's a lot harder than you think it is. I put it on the That's good. Yeah. You weren't really working in conjunction with your leg drive. Exactly. You so you're basically strip pressing that. Yeah. Good. Stand up with it and then a little bit. Okay. Get him, B. One, two, two. No, B. three, four, come on. Come on, come on, B. Five. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Six. Good. Woo. Nice. Oh. Kill it, bro. Kill it, bro. That's B over here. B. Yeah. Legend. He's yeah. a legend. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Woo. That's how we work with people like that, man. They force you. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you want to get big shoulders, <laughs> then this is the guy to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, right, me and Larry have led the, the, the first half, so we want you to sort of finish off, get us, uh, get us that pump. But I want shoulders like yours. I want to show muscles like that. Yeah. Uh, Kryptonite shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some real strong doubts. It's not he's, easy. It's his best machine. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get you an Eddie back. Are right, you sure you want me guys to leave? <laughs> Right now. Jeez. That's why I call Canada. I'm still working. 
It's got another pose before it's like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. My shoulders look as big. So it looks like you're doing 15 reps. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep redoing the same footage. <laughs> I've never used my life, so. A booty builder. Uh, 
you know what? I bet Nicole we wanted to tell her. Can I, can I just say, guys, that in the UK, uh, that PTs usually look like Shrek. <laughs> and then here in Dubai, I mean, particularly over there, there's a, a lovely PT in a red, a red top, making it his, her client stretch. And if I had a PT like that, I would definitely do my stretches. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. All right, so how, uh, let's see, sit down. Oh. I don't get it. This don't have it. It's not right. It's what it is. Don't pretend you haven't yeah. used this before. Like. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you. Let me just get this. Can you just slide that in there? Oh, that's why it's here. Oh, wait, 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 That's nice. You've got him a fanny pad. Yeah. Yeah, just in case he hurts his fanny. You know, no one but me is going to use this, right? No one's going to use this damn phone or whatever. This needs to go further back as well. This? This thing, yeah, it's too far. Am I going to fit in that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Probably not. No. Wait. Maybe. I gotta get my feet up here. Yeah, you gotta get your feet up there. Oh, and then wow. you gotta go back against here. Wait. Oh shit. Oh. And then have, have both of your feet on there. Oh, and then like. And then just up. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Don't forget to make the noises. Boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, you're a lucky lady. <laughs> oh. This is how Larry practices his smashing technique. <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> it should be called the booty building. It should, should be called the hip smasher. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's see this. I'll have a go. Yeah, we use it for. I mean, I mean, my booty is nice enough, but <laughs> you know. Sheesh. You know what? I mean, it's like it's like. Uh, it's like being on, air, on an airplane, I need one of those fat bastard extenders <laughs> to, get it, to get into it. <sighs> oh. Thank you. Oh, it will fit. It will fit. Just. That's not a bad piece of equipment. No, it is good. It it I, I think it targets your glutes more than, than doing an actual hip thrust. Because hip thrust will do glutes, hamstring, back. This is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very good. Can't actually get my legs up there. I can't get them up. Hmm. Is it impossible? Yeah. Do you maybe, uh, maybe if this needs to be moved back further? Do you mean back further? I don't know if it will. No, I think that's where it'll go, right? Yeah. Max. That's on the answer, Max. Because it's on top of my quads. It won't let me get my legs up. Maybe if I slip down more. There we go. Oh yeah. Right, this is something, this is something I have never seen before. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Oof. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know what everyone's thinking. And that's how, how much of a lucky little sausage Mrs. Hall is. <laughs> Oof. Powerful, those are powerful hips actually. Oh, yeah. oh fuck yeah. That's a poor rat. We get this off from that. Can't even fucking move in here. Where is it? I think this is mostly been sweating the whole workout. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. It's really not bad. Oh. Feel it? Oh. <laughs> What are we saying? <laughs> you can relax the app just for a second, man. Jesus. You can let it out just for a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all about the, the skin shade, in my opinion. That's the only reason it looks bigger. Get on the other side, Larry. So you want to try the split or you want to do something else? Okay. That's it? Wow. <laughs> That's a warm up. 
That's just one of us. That's what she crazy. Show the session. We have the one and only Beast. And first, you got to ask is, are you still going towards the 700 bench? Yeah, of course I am. Um, I mean, the 700 pound bench is something that, you know, I've had on the cards for a while. Um, in all honesty, my goal is the world record bench, 740 pounds. But, um, I mean, all the TV work I'm doing, Galavant in the world, all the appearances, the flights, everything else, it's, um, it's hard. It's, it, you, to be the best in the world at something, it's a full time job. You know, like, to be half or to be Martins, you know, to me to win the Worlds. It was a full-time job, and if you're not 100% committed, it won't happen. And exactly the same with the bench press. And at the minute, I am not 100% committed. So it's on the cards, I'm trying my best, and I just hope that work lets me get it in. Yeah, I totally understand that. I totally understand. I mean, when you're training for a competition, the three months that you're out until the competition, you kind of, kind of be in a dungeon at home with your meals, eating, training, and not really traveling, going anywhere other yeah. than the gym. Yes. So true. Yeah. yeah, it makes a big difference. Absolutely. But you know, after if you watch this video and you saw his power on the Viking press and all the other shoulder movements, I would have put it past him that he could easily smash 300 kilos right now, 660, with a long pause. So he's definitely not far off from 700 at the moment. And the road record bench, I mean, Eddie's definitely not one to just talk smoke. If he says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. You know, you've proven that. I have proved it, but again, you know, again it's the commitment. <laughs> yeah. It's the commitment. If I, if I said no to all the work and went for the bench, there's no doubt in my mind I would smash it. But am I going to make a lot of money from doing a world record bench? No. I'm going to make a lot of money from doing TV shows, yes. Right. You've got a competition coming up as well. Absolutely. November 23rd in New York, the pilot to meet. I'm going for a world record myself. It's uh, in the three weight weight class at Nice, and Eric Lidbridge holds it. And this is my third world record I would get. I'm very confident I'm going to get it. And afterwards, I want to get to at least 160 kilos. I mean, right now I'm 135 by 300 pounds, and I'm not shredded, not nearly as dry as Andrew, but I can fit so much more in my frame. I have so much more weight I can put on. So I'm looking forward to getting to strong man, heavy and ready. I mean, I know you and I were talking briefly about like pound for pound strongest man, yeah. but I just want to be the strongest period as well. You want to be the strongest man in the world, period. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, 160 kilos would actually be still one of the lightest guys in the final. You know, I think that the top guys are looking like 200 kilo, Brian, four. Um, and then you've got Martins List is actually, I think when he won the Worlds, it was about 162. He was, yeah. He's 162. Yeah, he's 162 yeah, actually. Was, uh, Same height as us, about six, yeah. well, a little bit taller than me. Yeah, I'm 6'3". Yeah. So I think, I think List is about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, seems about the same, yeah. Yeah, I mean, 160 for our height is humongous. It fucking is. It really is. It really is. Yeah. It definitely is. Yeah. Um, but on that note, I mean, hit the bell button, subscribe, drop a comment. If you don't already, follow Eddie Hall, Eddie Hall at WSM, and check out his YouTube channel. You're actually killing YouTube right now, man. You're doing oh, really yeah, good. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying yeah. um, entertaining and doing the videos and uh, traveling the world and meeting new people to look, coming and train with yourself. It's it's an excuse to come and do do content and meet and connect. It's it's 
It's not even an even series of job. It's uh, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. It really is. It's cool. It is. You just film everything you have going on, and you have a lot going on. Yeah, so, so yeah. you have a lot of content. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Larry. Thanks Cheers, out, buddy. Definitely. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to Larry's channel as well, and uh, we will check you back pretty soon. Big love, the beast. See you later. All right, guys. Just want to give one more shout out to Let's Get Checked. So please check out the link below for a direct link to letsgetchecked.com for your own testing kit and use the code WHEELS20 for 20% off. Thank you guys so much.